Hi, welcome back to Martial Paths. I'm Sensei Jim. Question, what do you do when you're an aging martial arts icon? Crickets, right? Yeah, okay. That seems to be a problem, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we see elite athletes in martial arts, or any other sport for that matter, they, they seem to peak in their late 20s and then they sort of have this long denouement, so to speak, into their mid to late 30s. And that's exactly what happened on uh, last Saturday night at the UFC Fight Night card, featuring Tyron Woodley and Donald Calbo Cerrone, both of which 38 and 37 years old, respectively. Uh, they've both done well as, a, as far as mixed martial arts goes, and um, I imagine they're, they're, you know, they'll probably do well afterwards as well. But the idea of retirement seems to be anathema to them. <laughs> and they probably should retire. Uh, it's clear that after 15 rounds and three straight fights that uh, Tyron Woodley has lost, uh, there's something missing. He's, he's lost something there. And he should probably quit before he ends up having his head taken off by somebody. And the same goes for Cerrone, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just, it's been a little bit slower of a downgrade over the last few fights, maybe the last five fights even, but, and he's trying to adapt. I just think it might be too late. I mean, he should have been doing the head movement stuff back when he was in his mid-20s, not in his late 30s. So it's interesting to see athletes transition in that way. And for mixed martial arts or martial artists, period, we have a tendency to be very vigorous people. But at the same time, age catches up with us. Everybody. Yes, I've been told that you can develop hand speed well into your 50s, but the thing is, is that you're probably sacrificing something else in order to achieve that level. And even then, it's only into your 50s. I have no doubt in my mind, med the medical community is going to keep me alive until I'm 90 if they can, unless something terrible happens. So really, there's 30 more years, and I'm like, I'm going to decline then? Great, that'll be really depressing. I don't want to deal with that. I want to maintain a nice level of health that I can manage for the rest of my life. That's why I got into martial arts. I got into martial arts when I was 30. So it's a little bit late in the game in the first place, as far as fighting goes. But, and I'm 45 now, and I'm, I don't regret it one bit because I got into it knowing what martial arts was really about. It's about maintaining your health, having a healthy lifestyle. Can I good go to the gym? and do the thing there, it's like, yeah, okay, great. Can I be a nutritional dietitian? It's like, okay, yeah, I can go that route as well. But with mixed martial, with martial arts, you get a mixture of all of those things to put together. You know enough about nutrition to figure things out that way. You know enough about weightlifting to figure out things that way. If you want to get into the cardio, you can do that. But the thing is, is that all these other things seem to be limited. Whereas this here brings everything together and there's more to explore. That's why it's an art form. It's not a science. It's not a, a collection of techniques, not a methodology. It's an art form. As my sensei likes to say, martial arts is personal. That's the way you have to adopt it into yourself, is that it's a personal journey. And it has many different little paths that you can go down, hence the name, hence the, hence the name, martial paths. I recognize that fact that there's many different ways of doing things. Ideally, you want to sort of encompass everything ultimately. But that's what the word ultimate means, is to bring everything together in order. To, but the thing is, age and time get in the way. And when, when, when we first figured out the physical aspect of martial arts, then we can transition over to the more artistic aspects of martial art, the, more, the esoterics, which are very real. I mean, let's face it, you go right back to the legendary version of, of karate. What is it? It's a Buddhist. It starts with a Buddhist pilgrim. It starts with spirituality. It starts with creativity. It starts with dealing with the mind. It starts with dealing with emotions and how to handle them. And then it became, well, wait a minute, in order for us to really do good at that, we have to address the physical aspect of things as well. And then they started combining everything all together. That's why we have Kung Fu. That's why we have Karate. Because it addresses all of these things in one spot. I'm Sensei Jim, and this is Martial Paths.